Hi everybody, um, this is Julie Santos, and I just wanted to do a short video. I wanted to do a flip through of the um, mini journal that I had shown you in my previous um, video. It's finished now, so I wanted to let you see what it looks like all dressed up. Um, anyways, so let's get to it. Um, I put a tassel on it. It is made with eyelash trim and ribbons and um, also um, crochet thread. It's got a um, charm on it. There's a, there's a feather and there's a heart that says made with love and there's also a little bee charm um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up it's pretty little but um anyway uh, I used a kit from Calico Collage um, to make this journal the kit is called Songbird so as I said in the previous um, video I stitched all around it it has um, metal corner book corners on all the corners and um I put I covered the spine with crocheted um lace I did a little bit of ink inking on it um in pink to um make it stand out a little bit more I did a um collage on the cover um there's cheesecloth and there's an image from the kit and also a little button right here i did a seam binding um closure there are um eyelets um to hold the seam binding and um okay so let's get into this all right um this on the um, front inside cover there is a perpetual calendar and then also a um, note from the bookmaker so and then all of the images in here are from the kit um, the um, lined paper also is from the kit and I think I mentioned in the previous video that I used her um, background pages for the inside and the outside covers so she also had a cutout uh, that for the title songbird and there's also a little um quote i think this is it says a bird does not sing because it has an answer it sings because it has a song it's a cute little saying um <clears throat> excuse me so there's um coffee dyed um, ledger paper here and there I did some stamping this is um this is like a, a parchment paper um yeah it's um, a light pink parchment and um right here on this side there's a pocket with a um playing card and I, I believe it's a vintage playing card um yeah and um there's music and I did some this is ledger paper also and it's got um Kool-Aid um dye um anyway I didn't like <laughs> sorry guys. Um I didn't dye it, I just like splattered it um onto the paper and then blotted off the excess. Uh this is copy dye paper and more music and more of the Kool-Aid diet um, splotching or splattering so there's a doily and then there's a tuck spot right here with a um, tag all the tags in um, the journal are all of the images on the tags are from the kit um, I printed them out on 110 pound um, ivory cardstock and I inked around the edges and I put um, ribbons on all of the tags so there's that little tuck spot right there and um, the 
did some more stamping here. And here is a paper bag pocket, and inside there is a journaling card from the kit. There's also a couple of game cards, um, one from Pictionary and one from, I think it's Trivial Pursuit, I believe is the name of that game. Um, so, let's go on. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, there's some more stamping. Um, see there's pattern paper more music and this is the center um of the journal the journal it's a two signature journal and there are 128 pages um front and back i sewed the signatures in with um the waxed linen thread and i cut, i punched out some little paper, well, cardstock circles to um, put at the end of the strings. Um, if you don't, if you don't like it, if you don't like it like that, then you can um, just snip them off. Um, so here's another, there's music page. Um, I, I just folded the music pages because I didn't want to cut the um, ends off. I tried, when I cut them for the journal, I tried to keep the, um, oh, I don't know what these are called, but anyway, this part of the, um, page intact, and then, yeah, I didn't want to cut the ends off. So, here is another paper bag pocket, and inside there are more of the game cards, and another, um, journaling card. She has a lot of very pretty images in this kit, um, of the birds that back in there where it belongs. Okay, and there's more stamping. Um, and it transferred over, but I kind of like how that looks. Um, so here's another check spot with a, um, another journaling tag. The tags are, they're small, but there's still room, plenty of room to journal. Actually, there's a lot of journaling space in this journal. Um, there's a doily, more graph paper, music, more paper from the kit. Oops. Okay, um, let's see. Let's skip ahead here. Oh, here's a corner tuck with a journaling card. Um, yeah. And there's more um, coffee dyed on here of the um, graph paper. I mean, ledger paper and more images and then here is the beginning of the second signature you guys probably can't see with my hands all over the pages sorry about that guys um more pages more um ledger paper and um here's another um corner tuck with a, another journaling card and then over here, there's a little, um, it's not, it's a, I, I believe it's a paper bag. It's coffee dyed, but it doesn't feel like, um, glassing. So I think it's just a white paper bag that, um, yeah, I coffee dyed it. And, um, here are three little tags that uh, I put in there. They're small, but there's still room to put little notes on. And they fit right in here, just like that. So you've got ribbons sticking out of the side of your book, and ribbons ah, sticking out of the top of your book. <laughs> okay, let's see. There's more music, more pattern paper. Here's another side pocket tuck, and uh, another journaling card. And let's see. This is a flip out, so that way you can um, do some secret journaling right here. Just close it up, nobody can see what you wrote. Uh, another doily, and here's the center of this signature, and I did the same thing with um, these strings. Ah, sorry guys. Um, there's more music. There's another um, flip out, and 
another um, side pocket, well, side tuck, but it's um, it's closed at the top and the bottom, so it's kind of like a small little pocket. Um, and let's see. Oh, and on here on the other side of that um, white um, paper bag, there the kit had a sorry guys, the kit had an envelope so um, in it and a journaling card. So I made the um, journaling card into a little mini mini journaling spot. So. This has 16 pages, so you put some little secret notes in there and hide them away in this little envelope. Cute. So, and then um, here's the paper clip to keep it in there. Okay, there we go. And let's see, I think. Okay, yeah, there's one more pocket in the back, and it's got another playing card. Pretty picture of a bird. And there's this is another image from the kit. And that is it. This is the back. I have my um handmade by stamp on here, but I haven't signed it yet. I don't like to sign my projects until I'm completely finished with them. This is this is pretty much complete, I think, but you never know. I Sometimes I add things in at the last minute, or get an idea, and, you know, and so, anyway, ah, oh boy, this is what, what they call it, video brain, I have it bad, guys, <laughs> okay, so, anyways, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching, um, this will be listed in my shop, um, my shop is going to be opening on, August the 27th, and the name of my Etsy shop is Subi Juju Crafts, so I hope to see you guys there, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye-bye.